Hey y'all, I am Luna Ray, the Gorgeous Oracle, and I'm here to do your Divine Feminine's reading. Um, before I get into the reading, can you please like, share, and subscribe to my channel? Can you follow me on Instagram at I am underscore Justina Nicole? Everything will be down in the description box below this video. Um, I already dealt by cards and stuff off camera. So, Divine Feminine, what I have for you, I have the Eight of Wands. I have the Ten of Pentacles. I have the Ten of Wands. I have the Wheel of Fortune. I have Judgment. I have the Seven of Pentacles. And I have the Seven of Swords. Um, I have all these Tens out here. And Sevens. I got two Tens and two Sevens. Well, actually three Tens. January 30th, somebody could be 30, February 14th, 7, 14, February 7th, February 27th, March 7th. Anywho, Divine Feminine. Um, Divine Feminine. You could be uh talking to somebody. Somebody coming in with fast communication. I feel like it was... Uh, they were led to talk to you. To say something to you. I heard couldn't take it anymore. Someone couldn't take it anymore. They had to say something. They had to reach out. Someone looks, they look at you as family. Like they, it's like they tell themselves, um, at the end of the day, no matter what we're going through, Divine Feminine is still my family. We still family. We're still together. It's like somebody is still telling themselves that. One, two... I have two major arcanas. Divine feminine. Whoever this person is, it could be your divine masculine. But I heard right my wrongs. He want to right his wrongs. He wants forgiveness from you. He's going to reach out. And when he reach out, this is going to be something new. Him just apologizing, being sincere. Um, this behavior is like kind of new for him. However, he feels as though um, you're not going to be receptive or he feels as though you're going to make him work even harder to be with you. I heard punish. He think you're going to punish him for what he did. I heard the ball is in your court now. Divine Feminine, this Divine Masculine is like handing you over the power. This is the T. For the longest, this Divine Masculine have not reached out to you. Because they just knew like if they was to reach out, that means that you have the power over them. But since this person has been divinely guided or this person has a change of heart or this person is starting not to care about like who's in control who has the power it's like they don't they started not to care about that anymore and it's like they're they're willing to if if they have to give you the power it's like they willing to just give it to you just so y'all can be together or come together just so y'all can talk it's like he don't at this point he don't even care like who's in control anymore divine feminine this person feel like things will not be the same between y'all because you have the power. 
Because you have the upper hand. So, this person always likes to be in control of things because they know how things will play out and they know what to expect. So, since you're in control now, it's like you're liable to just tell this person, okay, if you want me back, you need to jump off of a, a 20 foot five, a 20, a 25 foot building, bitch, if you want me back. You know, it's like this person, they don't know what to expect. You know what? If you want me back, you got to buy me three houses, two cars. You got to pay for my trip to Greece. You got to pay for me and five of my homegirls. Okay, if you want me back, you got to take me to the Galleria. You got to spend 50000 on me. It's like they don't know. <laughs> this person don't know what to expect by them. Like, I heard surrendering to you or just letting you, you know, take the power. Somebody is like power hungry. Um, I was just been in control of the situation. It was this divine masculine, but it's like now since you have, I heard the crown. Now since you have the crown, divine feminine, you would tell this motherfucker, you need to jump one uh, one hundred times, and every time you jump, you have to say I love you. So <laughs> it's like. So it's like you if you tell this person this divine masculine every time you jump you have to say I love you you got to do it a hundred times it's like they have no choice but to do it because they they want you back but before then it was no way in hell that this person was gonna you know give you that much power over him but now they want you know they don't care about you having power yeah divine feminine. <laughs> uh, this could be two ways Devon Feminine you could be actually out hanging with your friends doing stuff with friends family you know going out to restaurants girls time and shit like that and this person this divine masculine sees that you you know just living your life without them that's why they reach out to them I mean to you and then another message I'm getting this divine masculine is out like turning up with his friends or just doing shit with his friends and stuff like that. His homeboys and spirit like nah nigga or he had like this his intuition. I feel like his spirit because I now I have one two. I got three major arcanas out here. I feel like his intuition and spirit is telling him like nah motherfucker. You need to reach out to Divine Feminine. Like, it's time. It, it, it's so much time went on between y'all. And y'all haven't talked to so long. Like, Negro, you still partying and drinking? You need to, um, it's time for you to reach out to Divine Feminine. Like, period, point blank. But for some reason, I feel like this is Divine Feminine hanging out with her homegirls. Just doing her. And he sees that. And he like, you know what? Let me... You know what? I see that Divine Feminine, she could be in a good mood. So let me call her because I feel I, I sense that Divine Feminine is in a good mood. And if she's in a good mood, then I know that she will talk to me. <laughs> it's like somebody is being strategic on when to reach out and when to talk to you, Divine Feminine. They could be watching you. I don't have the page of swords out here, but they could be watching that you out having fun with your friends or you know you just enjoying yourself and since they see that you in a good mood they're gonna reach out divine feminine uh you could be dealing with a your divine masculine could be a capricorn but let me tell you this. Um your divine masculine is still it's like they got one foot in and one foot out. Or like this divine masculine would take 10 steps forward and like five steps back, right? Um, with all these major arcanas out here, plus this devil card out here, and then I have the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. This divine masculine, um, 
I'm not going to say he's torn in between um, his old life and his new life. But he still has some ties to, um, I heard, narcissistic behavior. He still has things that he has to work on. So this is a warning, Divine Feminine. When this Divine Masculine come back in, just know that he's not 100% himself yet. Um, he could be maybe... Maybe 75. You know, 75, he's good. And then the other 25, he's still a little evil. He's still got his devilish tendencies. You know, he still can be narcissist. He's still got a little bit, 25% of narcissism in him. You know, just keep that in mind. But this person is going to come forward because they miss you. They want you back. Um, Another message I'm getting with this seven of swords at the bottom of the deck and the devil out here i'm sensing that he could be talking to you behind the karmic's back another message i'm getting this karmic could still um has some ties to your divine masculine or still holding on to your divine masculine, divine feminine. But he still is going to come forward to you. Another message I'm getting. Um, he's still in this devilish energy. This toxic energy because of the karmic. He's still dealing with the karmic. Whew. Hold on. Let me pull some more, some more cards. Divine Feminine, um, this Divine Masculine has a fear that if he do come forward, you're still going to leave him. So he feel like, you know, if I present that I have money or something tangible to keep Divine Feminine in my life, then, you know, she will stay. And then another message I'm getting is this Divine Masculine. He's still, like, leaving the past behind. And he's more focused on his money. And he's focused on you. On, like, what can he do to make you happy? Or what can he do to contribute to your happiness? This divine masculine already, he sensed that you're happy or you in a good mood or something. And he want to contribute to that. Or he want to be a part of... Your happiness or something. Another message I'm getting. This divine masculine. Uh, could have walked away from a karmic. Or from like a past situation. And now his focus is on his money. He could be working even extra harder. Um, because he don't have nobody supporting him anymore. Like, he's just doing everything by himself. Divine Feminine, this Divine Masculine wants you to know that he don't need no help or he didn't need any help. Uh, he wants you to know that he worked hard for everything that he got. Another message I'm getting with this Devil card out here. <sighs> Your Divine Masculine could have been, you know, doing all types of low vibing things to get money. And to impress you, um, he could have been uh, another message. I'm now that I'm getting more in depth with this reading with this devil card in the seven of swords. Uh, your divine masculine could have been like stealing from the karmic, misleading, manipulating the karmic just for his financial gain. And now that he got what he need, 
he knows like, okay, now since I got what I needed from the karmic, I don't need her anymore. I fucked up her enough. Um, I don't need her anymore. I can stand on my own two feet. Divine Feminine, this is a secret. I don't have the moon card out here, but intuitively, oh, okay. Hold on. The moon is right here. The secret is that um, this Divine Masculine don't want you to know that he was partaking in fuck shit. And he was doing like, you know, just low vibing shit for money, gambling, sex, drugs, selling drugs. or <laughs> It's something that this Divine Masculine was doing that he don't want you to know that he was doing for money. I heard sleeping with the karmic, um, divine feminine with this moon card out here. This is the T. The T is that this divine masculine, when he was having sex with the karmic or any karmics or whoever he was sleeping with, he was actually sleeping with these women for money or like for material gain. But this karmic felt like, you know, um, this is my man. This is my man. We building together. I help him. He helped me. I, I help build him up. You know, whatever. So the karmic didn't have a, a issue with giving him money and helping him out because she felt like, you know what, this is a partnership. This is my man. I'm supposed to help him out. But the divine masculine looked at this as a transaction. Like, okay, well, since you helping me, since you just gave me some money last night, I'm going to fuck you tonight. Like, that's how this divine masculine looks at this karmic. And he's realizing that, you know what, this shit, this shit was toxic. Like, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even like this girl like that. Or I didn't fuck with this girl like that. I was actually, shit, fucking with different hoes behind her back. I was actually stealing and manipulating, lying and shit and doing stuff behind her back. So, I didn't even fuck with this karmic like that. And look, the only cups that I have out here is the Eight of Cups and the Three of Cups. So, it wasn't no love or anything with the, between the karmic and this divine masculine. But that's the secret. He don't want you to know that he was pretty much like a, 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 a male prostitute. <laughs> like, <laughs> he don't want you to know that. Divine Feminine. Yeah, um, by you fuck by you not fucking with this divine masculine, this is another secret, right? It was actually a good thing that you stopped talking to this divine masculine because I feel like this divine masculine was lazy. He always had like women to come to his rescue or to be there for him or to, you know, just do everything for him, right? And so by you not fucking with him, by you removing yourself from this situation, all he had was like memories. All he can do is just think about you, right? And fantasize about you. So he makes up these scenarios in his head of like, what he think the divine feminine like or what he thinks she wants and stuff like that. So he wanted to be this image that divine feminine wants. The thing is he don't know what you want divine feminine or maybe he do, but he's fantasizing thinking about like, you know what? Divine feminine I can't see Divine Feminine being with a man that still, like, stay with his mama, right? This is for example. I can't picture Divine Feminine, like, fucking with somebody that still stay with his mama. Or I can't picture Divine Feminine dating a man that don't take care of his children. Or I can't picture Divine Feminine um, settling down with a man that... That don't have no no ambition. A man that don't work. A man that needs women to take care of him. 
I think divine look at that. Divine feminine look at that as weak. Divine feminine don't respect men that uses women. So you know what? Since she don't, I don't, I can't see that about her. Like since she don't. Since she's not attracted to men that needs women um, to take care of them, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start working harder. I'm going to start working. You know what? Even though the karmic, I get what I need from this karmic, and I really don't have to lift a finger. Um, I actually got it made. But if I want my divine feminine back, I have to leave this. And I, I need to start working for myself. I need to start doing for myself. No matter how hard it may be. No matter how hard it may be. I need to start, you know, just doing for myself. I need to stand on my t my ten toes. You know what? I'm a man. I I'm built for this shit. I feel like divine feminine... It's because of you. This divine masculine is changing. But they changing because you don't fuck with them no more. So, it's like they create all these scenarios about you in their mind. Another message I'm getting. Divine feminine, you changed. You're not the same person that you used to be. And this divine masculine knows this. So, that's why he has to... Use his imagination on what he think divine feminine is like. Because he know for shit show you not how you used to be. So all he have is like memories in his mind and his imagination. Who Lord, Lord, Lord. Yeah, what I tell y'all. I have the two of wands, the eight of pentacles. Eight of Pentacles working, building towards something, okay? And judgment, okay? This divine masculine, divine feminine, he wants you to look at him. I heard respect. He wants you to respect him. Divine feminine, this divine masculine feel like you don't respect him or, <laughs> you know, you just don't fuck with him. You don't have no respect for him. And he feel as though if he just, Leave this karmic alone or stop being codependent on people and start doing for himself. Um, then if you see that he's doing for himself and, you know, he's working hard, then he will gain your respect. This divine masculine feel like you just don't, you don't fuck with him. You don't respect him. And it's like all he can do is just work and just get himself together. He wants your approval, divine feminine. Yeah, this divine masculine wants your approval. I have the death card out here, divine feminine. Um, what I sense is that this divine masculine, he's not lazy anymore. Like he's actually working, you know, putting in the time, putting in the effort to get what he wants. I heard procrastination. I feel like it's an end to that. It's an end to... Um, I heard victim. Like, this divine masculine... This is the T. Um, he could have been playing that victim role. Like, um, why, why this always happened to me? Or... Um, I had a fucked up childhood. This is why I can't get no job. Or this is why um, this is not working out for me because of what I've been through and all this and that. I feel like I heard sorry excuses, making excuses for himself. That shit is ending. That That's ending Divine Feminine. And then another message I'm getting Divine Feminine. You, uh, like, say if you were, you used to stress, worry a lot, and you had anxiety, and, you know, just thinking about your divine masculine, and what he doing, what he up to, and shit like that, that shit is done, that shit is dead. Another message I'm getting, this divine masculine... He could be like a perfectionist. Like he want everything to just be perfect. Um, 
it has to be perfect. It has to look this way before I come forward and him just stressing himself out, just worrying about, you know, um, if he don't have enough money or um, he can't impress the divine feminine. I feel like that shit is it's over. It's dead. People overthinking, overanalyzing, procrastination, being lazy, pessimistic, um, negative thinking. I feel like all that shit is dead, okay? Yeah, this shit, this shit is dead. This shit dead. But Divine Feminine, that has been your reading. Thank you. Bye-bye.